I think I can definitely see it right there. You got dirty windows, but I believe this is it. This is where I'm gonna be fishing today. Made another two hour drive down south only because the weather was gonna be bad up in New York where I live. And there was, uh, I wanna say it was 90% chance of rains and snow. So that's why I decided to make this trip down south. I'm supposed to have a little bit of high winds, high winds uh, meaning about 15 miles an hour. So I'm gonna just enjoy myself today hopefully be able to wash some of this stench off of my hands. I have been stinking bad. I believe that was my turn. Let's turn around because <laughs> I was uh, supposed to make that turn right there. All right, let's put this away for right now. Here's the turn off that I had missed. I think this is it. Tower parking barrier, free fishing. Gates close at sunset. Definitely gotta be it. Okay, this is definitely not it. I've got to find wherever the boat ramp is. It turns out that I completely <laughs> went to the wrong uh, area of the reservoir and had to turn around, double back. Let's see, visitor's center boat ramp. This is where I'm actually fishing. Voila! Oh boy, oh boy, we are here, we are here. Holy cow. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. Place is stacked. There's a lot of people here. Let's hurry up, get dressed, get out there. All right, unloaded and headed to the water right now. Nice, quick, easy launch. So just from first sight, I love what I'm seeing, the submerged timber. This has gotta be man-made. I haven't read up on this reservoir, but it's gotta be man-made, especially to have all, all this submerged timber right alongside the bank. You got all that riprap over there towards the dam. Fairly small reservoir, but I've heard nothing but good stuff about it. Let's cruise the bank really quick. We're gonna do what everybody probably always does whenever you're fishing something like this. Uh, just hit what you see, which is all this standing timber, the submerged stuff. And I'll worry about jigging, fishing the deep later on if none of this produces. Let's try to have some fun, fellas. Uh, I'm hoping and praying that I can wash the stench that this kayak and myself have right now. Oh yeah, first fish. And it's a largemouth. Oh wait, it's a trout. Holy cow. Got a nice rainbow. my phone ringing. Hello. Ah, I'm trying to fish. What's up? Yep. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Boy, I swear. Work couldn't call at a better time. That was a that was a complete surprise catching that uh, that rainbow. Got it off of this thing right here, ice fishing jig. See if we can get another one, and this time I may be able to narrate without uh, having to answer a phone. 
Yeah, that's what sucks on duty 24 7 even on your weekends time off it doesn't matter <laughs> you know what I just forgot about the uh, the skunk I'm done I'm done with the skunk <laughs> what a good feeling boy this looks like a bass magnet if I ever saw one check this out I'm hoping and praying that I can catch a fish out of this mess right here. I'm gonna just go through there nice and slow, pick it apart, jig, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna catch something. Oh yes, I felt the, I felt that hit, baby. Head shakes, it's a pickerel, it is huge. Oh my gosh, that is huge. All right, let's get the net out. That was a nice thump. Feels good to, to feel a thump like that. Ugh. Wow, this is gonna be tough. I have no earthly idea why my net is stuck. How I got this done, I have no idea. I will always be ready next time. Holy cow. Now let's land this pickerel. Come on, buddy. That is a huge pickerel. Holy smokies. Chain pickerel, fellas. Settle down, buddy, settle down. And just open up for me just for a second buddy and there we go got that out look at this that is a huge pickerel fellas let's let him back in the water and there he goes swimming to fight another day I don't know what it is with pickerel and they're pooping they're like pooped and so not only did he slime me, he pooped all over the kayak again. I literally just got, with all the rain and everything else, got all the poop out of here, and now I got poop chunks again. Gosh, these things are slimy. Poopy. So check it out, fellas. This is what I hooked them on. This tiny little ice hook with uh, the barb bent up, not the barb, but the hook point bent upwards tiny little thing four pound test and I just didn't really try to fight him I let him just move around swim around doing his thing while I was trying to get my net out and it's all the, the line is really jacked up from his teeth right here so I'm gonna have to retie but just wanted to show y'all what I caught that huge pickerel with you don't really need anything big you just got to take your time the pattern seems to be this one right here. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say all the bait fish that are down there are probably this size right here. It's really tiny. It's only like an inch and three quarters, if that. And a small little ice jig head uh, seems to be doing it. I'm gonna keep throwing it until they don't want it anymore. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I need a new Lorenz. Yeah, it's, it's time for uh, an upgrade. I'm out here trying to jig in 40 feet of water. It's just not going to happen. Not with the wind blowing the way it is and with the Lorenz just making me jump all over the place. I see the fish down there. Like, I'm right above them right now. But my jig is way over there because it's light and it's got to work its way, like pendulum its way back down over here. And it's just not going to happen we'll have a gust of wind that like right now I'm gonna try to hold this spot and see if I can possibly jig it uh, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it <laughs> they're down there if I can get this jig down there, 
right above them. Then maybe, just maybe, I'll pull one up. Holy cow, fellas. It's definitely not what the weather app said it was supposed to be. It's supposed to have been 13 mile an hour winds. And that's what the gusts were supposed to be. And like nine mile an hour, okay, so can't even talk. Nine mile an hour winds with 13 mile an hour gusts. This is well over 13 miles an hour. If it continues the way it is, I'm gonna call it quits. Head back to the boat launch, pack up everything and get back early so that I can get ready for tomorrow. It's been a great day. I finally washed the stink off my hands catching the rainbow trout and that whew, pretty big size pickerel. I am pleasantly surprised. I honestly didn't have any expectation of catching fish whatsoever, at least until you know mid to late april whenever the weather starts warming up and it's the idea temperature for the fish to start turning on again uh with the delayed winter and it you know the weather being all messed up it's been kind of crazy but uh catching these two fish today is a treat it's tough out here right now it's really tough but uh i've always uh, appreciate you guys watching i appreciate the comments that y'all been leaving me um for the guy who keeps giving me the thumbs down dude tell me what you don't like about the video and uh, i'll try to fix it up but uh until next time which is going to be tomorrow tight lines